Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Looking at SPY on the daily and weekly time frame, the bears are still strong. We're being driven down by the lower Bollinger Band daily resistance, 209.81. We need to update that level at the open tomorrow and see where it is at. This is now four of the last six days where we have had a higher open with pre-market upside, followed by an all-out dump. Look at the past action. Higher open, dump. Higher open, bearish day. Higher open, dump. Higher open, dump. So the bulls are not proving anything, and live on webcam today, that was the theme. The bulls have to prove to us that they're changing this trend because the trend is very obviously bearish, and we need to see proof. And that's going to come with the 20-period hourly moving average becoming support and a bullish reversal candlestick on the daily and the lower Bollinger Band becoming support on the daily as well. The RSI is the lowest it has been on SPY in 11 months. We are right at the oversold level. Looking at SPX on the daily or on the weekly time frame, losing 2120. If we close below 2100 tomorrow, we're looking at 2070, the 50 and 100 week moving average support. The uptrend is intact as long as we hold the Brexit low of 1991. So that is the benchmark for the bulls to maintain. We're obviously well above that level. And we're looking for a short term bounce, and we have to keep in mind it is just a short term bounce. At this point, on short-term oversold bounce, we'll be looking for a move back towards the 211.50 range where we had previous support, now resistance. There was a very, very clear trade today on the five-minute chart for SPY, and this is why pre-market is so important. And pre-market, we had a triple top, 210.34, 210.35, 35. So we now know, heading into the trading day, that we must close over or must break above that level in order to see the bulls prove that they have some strength so here's the 200 day moving average support we held it one two three four five six times lost it lower high and now we have a tightening range so since the open we have the high of the day the low of the day lower high higher low lower high and as soon as we broke this low the higher low of 2076 there's your bear signal look at the dump that followed all out bears in full control as soon as 2076 broke why 2076? Well, that higher low, and also on the weekly time frame, there was an inside candlestick. The range falling completely within the range of the previous candlestick, and on the next candlestick, as soon as the range breaks, if we break the high, it's bullish. If we break the low, it's bearish. We had the bear break, followed by five hours of red in a row, increasing volume for the bears. It was a bullish reversal hammer at the end of the day, but again, we're heading into tomorrow with the bulls having to prove to us that they can turn around this trend. So we are not going to give them any credit, not going to give them the benefit of the doubt. The bears are in full control of this trend unless until the bulls can prove it. So that is what we're looking at heading into tomorrow. Keeping a close eye on oil, a bounce in oil I think will help SPY get a bullish reversal candlestick on the daily, and oil is due for a bounce as well. So watching both very closely, we'll check back in tomorrow after the week is done trading. Have a fantastic night.